What is up guys? We are back with some more of the Thaumaturge and we've made it to the next portion of the game. We're here at, I guess, Mermaid City. Or no, we're actually heading back to Warsaw. Um, because our, our dad died. Uh, let me see if there's anything to interact with actually over here. Oh yeah, we have the skill point to apply. And let's see, we got Brutality, Lucky Chance, Perfectionism. 60% chance of slowing the enemy's actions. That doesn't sound bad, actually. But also, we have this max max damage thing. Perfect efficiency I want to put on that strong attack. Gamble, I think I'll put there. Powerful Mind, I don't know who to which skill to put that on, actually, right now. Um, maybe as I get more skills, I'll figure out how I want to I want to plan it out, but for now, I guess that's what we'll have. And then we do have the new Salutor from the last episode. Um, Bakovac. Bakovac. <laughs> okay, we're in a dapper looking area. There's something here to read. The newspaper. All right. Going to interact with as much as we can just to get that EXP so we can up our uh, skills ASAP. Beware of thaumaturgs who act in secret, plotting to bring down the economy and thus take complete control over our society. Let us protect our children from the degenerates. Let us get rid of those parasites. Wow, so people don't like thaumaturgs, really. There was a spot that was downstairs over there. I wonder what's over there. The city that does not forget. Okay, Act 1, let's go. Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. Damn, she got hella freckles. These are troubled times. Brothers turned against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. There ain't. That swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Before and after execution. Well, the time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, all forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None. Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators. He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? Uh, fuck yes, it. I can I always kill her. <laughs> I got powers. I ain't scared. Vanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not. Warsawa. Premia Terora. Sakoizlois. Idi nachoi! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Who that do? Aristovat. Wow. <laughs> He's like, arrest that dude for, for talking that smack. Oh, she gonna fight with us? Great heroes in their sense of timing. Or, or are we always just fighting by ourselves? The first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel, the Lautmann. Damn. What did you drop? Drop me a dunderdunce? Hey, gentlemen, please kneel and tie my shoe. Oh, 
<laughs> that seems more like a job for the servants, young lady. Go ahead. Look down. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that? I find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. All right, investigation time. Or I take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Let's get Ooh, some yeah. information on her. She seems to be an interesting in character. Distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? Yeah, let's let's go investigate. <laughs> Wanda, who I met during the kettling incident, needs me to help her and conspicuously escape. Each bullet was hidden in the nooks and crannies of her undergarments with care and precision, just like the previous time and the time before that. This is nothing new for the person who took the risk. So they carry big emotions, hope because they were meant to benefit the cause fear which in these difficult times makes it away even the hardiest of hearts and determination okay so i like how they got like the symbols here too so we have um what was it this is like the heart and this one is the fear one right There's something behind him. Seemingly ordinary barrier carries the memory of a hand whose firm grip represents the determination of the one who controls it. It was the, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Gendermin, Genderman, Gendarme, commander who set up the barrier, carrying in his heart and desire to return to the warmth of his home. All he needed was a scapegoat. Okay. And then we got that level up point. And let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we can now start getting like these other other skills. But let's first let's first develop. We got this one that does like fifty percent extra damage. Yeah. The fact that we can't like back these together that would be nice now we'll worry about that focus uh up thing later but all right so now we got to talk to him do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets what do you want then my whole life on my knees Kissing Ruski's ass? Maybe. Offer your help in the fight? I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Oh wait, was not expecting the fight. <laughs> Is there a way to specifically equip the uh, uh, one of our salutars? I can't tell. Okay, selecting yourself or a salutar. You can preview both your and your salutar skills. This will help you plan your attack. Summoning another Salutar. You can summon another Salutar at any time. A green frame around the Salutar's image means they're exceptionally effective in a fight with the given enemy. Read the description above the Salutar to find out why they will be useful at the moment. 
Okay. So, we have this one with the green. Focus deprivation will be more effective against the enemy. Okay. I'll probably switch to the other one um, for the boss because they have like way more focus there. Now we got suffering for three to four. And then we got this option. Oh, well, we always had this one, so let's take you out. Oh, well, we'll see. Looks like we've got the option for both. <laughs> Oof. Dang, that did a lot. are on their way too but i think since he's suffering we should get an extra one down right or maybe i switched it to the wrong thing <laughs> punch him right up in the face Oh dang, you got a you got a blinky bro? <laughs> Enemies can have a trait that makes them immune to your attacks. Traits are related to different dimensions and they can be disabled. To disable an enemy's trait, attack them with a side trait that belongs to the same dimension as the trait. Note that if you don't have the required dimension force, you can take away all of the opponent's focus and launch a strong attack instead. What is this? Attack with up your upper to disable. Disabled. We got some health back. You got suffering on you too. Oh, see, no, we can we can reduce things some more. You know, we can switch to you, and then inflicts damage equal to eight for each enemy affected by suffering. All right, we'll use this one. Then we'll get some extra damage in. Woo! Okay. Was was not ready for that. All righty. <laughs> okay, we got two focuses down. I need to heal. <laughs> or I probably should have just reduced the focus, right? Okay, we got we got the the dub. Ooh, ooh, come on, I just whooped y'all's ass and that's what y'all gonna do to me?
Oh man, they took our, our book. Shulski, Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. <laughs> that bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can they I just want us to get sick. <laughs> I said sit on the bench. Uh, not yet, let's talk to some people. What are you staring at, Geneth? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. Dang, as a result. Okay, so there was going to be like two, two different things, but we're going to go with the, the proud answer. I've showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham, on the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Damn. <laughs> well, are you from somebody? Uh, because I see there's like anti thaumaturgy stuff, so I'm just gonna introduce myself. My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right, respect. First of all, I am. Oh a come on, we were gonna say that. At... Now what was them, the point? <laughs> I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. <laughs> but you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. You should not judge a book by its cover. A tough guy. Like a real Warsaw lad. I was born here. Now I've come home. Welcome to Warsaw. Where we get locked up as soon as we get here. Okay, we actually have to like eventually get out of here. I wish I could talk to her. But I guess we'll just have to sit on the bench. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? We've got a little time to kill. Maybe now you can tell me more about yourself. You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. And don't worry. I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Hey, Les. Shulski! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Fearless Wanda, the Smugglers of Bullets, proposed a meeting at Burke Rotsblitz. Alrighty. Our conclusion is we met this woman during the kettling incident. Clearly, it wasn't the first time she's done that. Unfortunately, this time the guard didn't hold and the bullets fell onto the pavement. Maybe fate will have us cross paths again. Sholsky, this yours? Yup. 
That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Now we don't care why we're Thank being let you. go. Let's just be about our business. I'm standing on business. I'm standing on business. Wanda's file. I have my own file. I'm recruiting for the gender I don't even they said it earlier. I want to say gender mirror. Gender Mary. It is recommended to reject the following candidates and persons related to rebels and troublemakers, Jews and thaumaturges. Any deviation from these instructions must be very well argued. Okay. Wanted is that same dude. Maria Bracoa, 54. Yeah, we're getting these points out, out the butt. Yeah, I could get this lucky chance. I mean, I guess it'll be nice just to have all that stuff up in case we come across things and then we'll worry about combat skills later. We're upgrading those. What is G? Oh, G's like all this stuff that I could take a look at. We're not going to leave just yet. We're going to explore, get as much information as we can. Danistar's obituary. Orders. We can't go in here, unfortunately. But I think that was everything that we saw in here that we could interact with. They want me to hit that way for like the quest, but let's make sure there's nothing over here to like read, discover, etc. Another locked door. Okay, this town is actually pretty, pretty big. Propaganda brochure. Ah, yeah, to fast travel to the cemetery. Parish announcements. Okay, it's just like another obituary. <laughs> they got hung up. I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat. Mordecai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Scholsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? <laughs> We've ruled out any coronary causes since the doctors couldn't confirm whether the deceased had a heart. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. This will like show like his real personality is doing these <laughs> pride uh, responses. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturge. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. 
You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronin? I will not keep you. That guy is probably all alone back there, among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. More people just popped up, or were they always there? For the cutscene. Sister? Victor. These third? I'm so glad you Is the word? I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All oh, this caught me off guard, but for, for now I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? A lot. A lot happened. I took a short trip to a Warsaw jail. What? Are you joking? During the funeral? Are you alright? Everything's fine. Don't worry. I I'm out, ain't I? Have you written to mother? Yes, but... <laughs> what can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. We can say goodbye now. Fine. Let's get this over with. Man, he just looked like he died unhappy. He was mad at the world. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better. And definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. I've come back with two salutars. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame on yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Farewell, father. Am I intruding? Who the heck are you? I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. The Victor scar on his face. Be, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. With all due respect, this is my personal business. It was my father who knew you, not me. True. Please forgive me. I meant no harm. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name is Kanyechkin. Ivan Kanyechkin. Goodbye. As it still just shows man. 
You didn't want to update the name there after you said his name? Such interesting friends you had. Uh oh. I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Okay, with the note. Simple words contain a sea of sadness and longing. The letter was written with a trembling heart that cannot come to terms with the loss. It seems that someone was greatly affected by my father's death. Grandpa, you call him a thaumaturge. I barely remember him. Great grandmother Yosefina, a thaumaturge. Someone has left a note next to the simple wreath. We had our differences regarding methods, but we shared the same goal. We will carry on and you rest in peace, brother, your friends in Thaumaturgy. Eat dirt. <laughs> the wreath was thrown carelessly, but some time and effort went into the words and the notes. Several versions were written, all of which seemed insufficiently offensive to the author. In the end, he decided on the simple yet elegant eat dirt. Saluski. <laughs> More people than I thought would have, I guess, came to say their farewells. It turns out that he had both friends who were clearly affected by his death and enemies who found it exceptionally pleasing. Well, it seems father evoked extreme emotions in the people he had encountered during his life. Yep, seems so. And we got another point. So now we got action reaction, which I think we'll just develop that. Because this one, the skill additionally cast the state on a run. So this one might be good to get as well. Who knows? I guess for now we'll we'll just work through power and through uh, upgrading everybody. Adrenaline rush increases damage, increased damage. All this stuff like says increases inflicted damage. Or inflicted is that different from? I don't know, it's kind of, the wording is weird. So this one says increases inflicted damage. And then, oops, this other one says increase taken damage. Oh, that, never mind. We got the difference there. Value your speed up, increased inflicted damage, received damage in the last round of the state's duration. Interrupt an enemy's planned action if the enemy is in a suffering state. Oh, that's going to be nice. Sabotage? Go to your family home in the northern, whatever it is. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. This Wanda? Love at a funeral. Oh, Arrows post mortem. Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Who the heck is you? Constancia Shabowska, the Warsaw courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? <laughs> That's what Someday I'm talking the about. will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Uh, we'll go. Thanks. I'll explore Get another in. time. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us.
Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Uh, I'm gonna be exploring? The heck? Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in oh. his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. We'll go up at another time. We're gonna examine to get all this EXP. Father's portrait. Oh my, he stay looking mad in like every picture. We'll get agony as well and then we'll just take turns as we upgrade through here oh, I'm glad you're here I thought I'd have to drink alone so many goodies laid out for the guests having trouble picking something for yourself judge but this was Stachios. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Okay, so we gotta go get some alcohol? No, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? Yeah, I guess. I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. And then, actually, I want to look at these upgrades, too. Okay, because now we can equip extra stuff. This is how we get, like, these other skills. So now we can do I don't know, maybe that. So we can at least know that we pick up side quests in here from talking to other people. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. Oh, well, we'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. All right, we got, we got our cousin added to the book. Got a garden. Why are you just out here? What the heck? Y'all are just out here chilling in the rain? What is wrong with y'all? 
Y'all are not normal. Dang, this is their mom? It was Batty back in the day, right? Bottle of wine, carries aroma of peaches, apples. This is the one we were looking for. But there's like other stuff down here maybe? There's something over here. Are we just, oh, we're just getting up different bottles so that way maybe they're gonna ask us oh we'll give this to Ligia maybe an inability to articulate brought on by great surprise clings to this bottle it was difficult to mouth even a word of gratitude for the unique gift words got stuck in the throat despite the adoration for this particular liquor it is a favorite beverage but an unwelcome gift every bottle found in the cellar contains a credible beverage uncle Veronin wouldn't disregard any of them Cool, cool. Let's head back up and give our uncle the bottle. How did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to. And raised a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death, as Stasio and I used to say. <laughs> How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? Hell no. I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? May the ground be soft, father. I'm not betting there's an afterlife. <sighs> Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Uh, <laughs> At the funeral, there was There's a, a sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, uncle? He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. So, shall we collect our inheritance? I think that was everything I could yeah, find. So let's find out what my father hasn't left me. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of his Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Excuse me, but could we get to the details? Victor. I think we all want to address more temporal matters, don't we? In theory... Would you be so kind? Of course. Ah, here we are. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise, I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers, 
dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor, be serious. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. Oh man, see, I want to keep using these pride answers or proud answers there. Uh, but I also want to wait till like the end. I think this time I'll wait for the end of the ceremony because I, I want to see. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire. What? In the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly. Though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Because of our own? Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this. Oh, wait, what? The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Well, someone took our pop Meaning book. <laughs> it's disappeared? Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. Oh, damn. What actually happened? How did he die? Was that bad? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Is that like the vision we had? A building? It collapsed on top that of him? That was like the vision we had, right? How? Or dream? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. But then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. The grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps, in all that confusion. But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the tarmator just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. He died as he lived, miserably. He couldn't have met a more fitting end after what he did to me. What he did to the Nijic family. You've got to know that Papa felt guilty. Even if he didn't say so outright. Well, that's the problem. I'm not going to defend him, but I can't criticize him either. Even I don't know what really happened back then with Abauritsa. An accident is what happened, and father treated two kids like the worst disgraces in the world. As if it had been premeditated. When a person dies so suddenly, their unfinished business remains. We'll never learn what Stasio carried in his heart. What do you intend to do? I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. 
With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? No. And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check that too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. And Mordechai Hayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. Oof, we got something here. But guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video because it helps out the video a lot. And I'll subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoyed the content you see right here. But that said, stay sharp. Later.